kettlebell swing with hand release is going to be the same as a normal kettlebell swing, but at the top of the swing, you're actually going to let go of the kettlebell to help teach you that difference between going from a very tight position to a very relaxed position. So during a kettlebell swing, we have to learn how to relax our hips and then be tight with our hips, but we also need to learn to relax our hands at the top to let the kettlebell come back into the proper hip hinge position. So you start like any other kettlebell swing, your feet just outside your hips, the kettlebell in front of you so it can, you can hike it to yourself. As you sit back through your hips, you're gonna try to snap that handle in half so your lats are stiff. And then as I go to hike it and swing it, I'm just gonna gently let go at the top. And that kettlebell is just gonna float right into position and I'm actually just gonna catch it just in time to swing back towards my hips. So what this teaches you is to not muscle it with your arms too much. If you muscle the swing with your arms, you're gonna get incomplete hip extension so you won't use your hips effectively. Whereas if I learn to let the kettlebell go at the top, I relax my arms and rely just on hip extension. So give the hand release kettlebell swing a try to help learn what it means to be tight at the right times and then loosen up at the right times.